Hi everyone, so we're back with another video today and we're going to learn how to draw this super cute little dog who looks like he's got his nose up on someone's couch looking for a crisp. So I reckon he's like a little golden retriever or something. Um, so this is the one that I did earlier on and then this is one that we were playing with earlier on and this is Millie's one. Luke is working on something else over there. Oh, there's Luke's one. Very good, Luke. Um, so we used oil pastel, but Millie used pencil and she reckoned that worked a little bit better. So I'm going to get started and show you with a marker, but pencil works really well for this too. So the first thing you're going to do is draw your blanket, just the edge of the blanket where the dog's nose is going to be lying on. So we've got that there. And then right in the middle of that, you're going to draw kind of like a squashed heart for the shape of your dog's nose, just like that. And then we're going to do a line up the center and we're going to do a nostril on each side of his nose just like that and um, the next thing you're going to do is draw his the bridge of his nose here so we're going to come up a little bit then go in and across and then do the exact same so down and down again so just so it looks symmetrical on both sides and then just up over the bridge of his nose, we're going to draw kind of like a C maybe. And then the opposite, so facing the opposite way on the other side, just like that. So two little dimples. And then we're going to put our eyeball inside of that. So he wants to look, you want him to look like he's kind of begging or a little bit sad. So we're going to do like a tear shaped eyeball in each eye socket. And then we're going to draw... A circle inside of it so that's your eyeball we're going to keep this bit white and then we're going to draw his pupil and we're going to give it a little highlight inside of it like that and we're going to do the same on the other side like so done so he looks a little bit angry but when we get coloring he won't look angry anymore all right so the next thing we're going to do is draw like kind of a wibbly line because he is a long-haired golden retriever so he's nice and fluffy so we do this like that. So that's the shape of his head. Next thing he needs is some fluffy ears. So make them extra fluffy going down on each side. And then you can also just draw some folds in your blanket like that. Okay, we're gonna get to coloring. So I've got a few different colors over here and I'm gonna start with my black. And I'm gonna fill in his, oh, that's not black, sorry, can't see. Uh, fill in his eyeball. With the black and then kind of go around the edges like this as well just to make it look a bit cute and I'm going to do the same on the other side you can do that then we're going to fill in his nostril with black and up the line of his nose but we want his nose to look wet because I don't know about your dog but our dog tends to stick his nose in our face a lot and it's very wet. So I, you can see I've kind of started to go a little bit lighter with my black. And that's because I want it to look wet. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of blue. And the blue will make his nose look wetter. Like so. Done. Okay. So we're going to go in with a little bit of brown now and colour in around our doggy's eye, like so. And we're going to use this colour then to make him nice and fluffy. So lots of kind of messy, messy colouring really is what you need for this doggy. So where we've drawn the line kind of around the shape of his face, you're going to go dark with this kind of a dark brown colour and that just makes it look like a shadow. So I'm just going to colour in one side of the dog's face just so you can get an idea of how to do it. And around his nose as well. And then I'm going to go in with kind of a golden colour and I'm going to use that all around my doggy's nose. And into his ears. And especially out here for his furry eyebrows. Like this. And then I'm going to get kind of a pale 
golden color and fill in the rest. What am I missing, Benny? Um, oh yeah. I so, the other thing I did was I got Ooh, my pencil. The background. the background. I got my pencil, now you can't see, and I went back in at the end and kind of just made them extra fluffy by just adding more kind of wiggly lines. And then he's done. So if you imagine the both sides of him are all coloured in, he will look like this. And then you just need to colour in his blanket and his background. Or he could look like this. Very good. Okay, enjoy guys.